Here we go. Lemoncello ice cold from the freezer. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Ciao Bella. So, first step in making lemoncello. You need eight of these bad boys. Eight lemons. A glass jar that's food grade. And a vegetable peeler. So here's the skinny on this. Here's what you want to do. You want to get just the top layer of your lemon. That's where all your flavor and oils are. And if you look on the back side, barely any white. That's what you want. Super thin. Because this white, it's called the pith, is super, super bitter. So you don't want that in there. The limoncello is wonderful. Now if you've never had limoncello, you may be saying, is this lemon jello? No. This is a cocktail. Big in Italy. If you've never been to Italy, let me break it down. How a, how a nice night out to dinner is in Italy. First, you have a very awesome meal of Italian food. Duh. Maybe with some wine. Maybe not. Afterwards, you can have dessert or not, but usually they have a coffee. And then, as the dinner wraps up, and Europeans like to take their time, unlike Americans that want to rush through it all real quick and get it all done and over with and get out, they could spend hours. The Danish are the same way. Anyway, at the end of the dinner, they bring out shots of limoncello, which is what we're making today. And that usually signals the end of the evening. It's a very special thing because it's sweet, it's lemony, and it's the perfect nightcap. So you can go home and you can relax and just enjoy your reflection of your evening. Now, besides this lemon zest that I'm putting in here, the traditional way is a bottle which is 700 and 50 mil of pure grain alcohol. First off, pure grain alcohol is not easy to find. So, get triple distilled vodka. Vodka won't bother you at all because it doesn't come with any flavor or smells. This is triple distilled. It's 100 proof, 50% alcohol. This is gonna make an awesome limoncello. All right, so I'm gonna continue with this. When I'm done with the peels, I'll be right back and show you what's next. Ciao Bella. It has been two weeks, or as they say in England, a fortnight. Two weeks will do though. Our limoncello is ready to be finished. So, about once or twice a week I would take this out and shake it around a little bit. So the first thing we're gonna do is drain out all the peels. Mm-mm-mm, because -mm -mm, that's where all the, oops, one fell in. I'll get it. It ain't getting away from me that easy. Next thing we're going to do is just make sure we get all of the goodness out. Next, we are going to add one and one third cups of simple syrup to this. Then we're going to pour it right back in here and really give it a good mix that way. Oh, 
are your limoncello is mixed and almost ready. So remember this bottle? We're going to refill it. And why are we recycling this? Well, first off, it's good to do, but second off, it has a very tight lid. Because now that our limoncello is back in the bottle, we're going to stick it in the freezer for five hours minimum. Matter of fact, even after that, we're going to store it in the freezer. Freezer is this bottle's new home. This leftover stuff, if you think I'm throwing it away, you're crazy. We're going to get another bottle with a really tight fitting lid and put that in the freezer as well. So what happens now is because of this, it's 100 proof vodka, it will not freeze, but it'll get like viscosticized. Yep, that's a word I just made up because of the, the alcohol and the simple sugar. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. We have a question in the back. Yes, ma'am. Um, as part of your live studio audience, mm -hmm. did you add food coloring to that? I did not. All of this color came from the lemon peels that I carefully filleted off of the lemons. Ah. Once again, being careful not to get any of the white pith. Isn't that a beautiful lemon color? Beautiful. We're going to do a sampling of this in a few, in a few five hours, that is. See you then. Ah, scram. Here we go. Hope you like it. Yeah.